the National Teacher of the Year, and I know uh, you should never start a speech on a young, or you really shouldn't, but I'm not done. Well, first of all, I'll talk to anybody, so um, I'm not a shy person, so this is the perfect gig for me. But I'm so enthusiastic about kids and teaching and teachers, and this idea of educating all Americans in a public school setting is really important to me. So I love the opportunity to get out and meet people who are doing the same work and to remind them how important they are. It's so easy as a teacher to get sort of bogged down or isolated or to feel beaten down because the challenges really are enormous. And, and as much as the kids inspire and motivate you to bring your best to class every day, Emotionally and physically, it's easy to get worn down and to feel like everyone's against you or that it's only you and you're alone. And so to get to bring word to them that, you know, I see you, I see the work that you're doing and the incredible efforts that you're making and you're so important. And, and please don't forget that and that you're such a bright light in the lives of your kids. And uh, just remind them of that impact that they're having is, is so much fun for me to get to do that. I mean, with teaching, the growth curve is phenomenal, and that's what I love about it is that you can teach a lesson at 8 o'clock that bombs, and by 9 o'clock, you've had to reconfigure it. You've had to take it apart and take out the things that didn't work or re reimagine a strategy for how to make it work better with kids so that learning is actually going deeper and that kids are actually able to perform. And so if that much change and growth happens from eight to nine, imagine from your first year to your second year, from your second year to your 15th year. I mean, I've been teaching now, this will be 16 years and I finally feel like I'm getting good. And that's a crazy thing because if I still feel like I'm such a work in progress and I'm the national teacher of the year, my goodness, that means that for our entire careers, this is a growth model. This is a, a, a profession that just offers you so much in the way of growing and changing. And that's a great, that's a great mindset to, te to take into classrooms so that kids stay learners their whole lives. I think that this year of recognition for me that has allowed me to travel as widely as I have and see different systems in different countries and in different states that are working and different approaches that communities take to educating kids and to providing opportunities and resources is fundamental for every teacher to have. Uh, I wish every teacher has uh, could have had the experience that I have had this year of seeing what's out there and what seems to be working. I think the idea of handpicking students that are working at the top of their you know, ambitions and their abilities in colleges is a very smart thing to do to help prepare them to become teachers and then to give them that global um, exposure and experience is going to make them that much more impactful and empowered in the classroom. Um, I think when you see what's happening in the world, you come back with a sense of urgency about needing to get those kids that are in front of you ready for that same world. And if you've never been out there and you don't know, um, your scope is too small.